It's actually that time. We are finished with the whole thing. Is it finally ready? It's finished. <laughs> I have been waiting for this for a long time. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is spectacular. This is the best birthday gift you can give for me. You ready? Uh, yeah. Move those doors. <laughs> It's almost done. Skip. It's almost done. Skip. It's almost done. Skip. <laughs> you know, this time it's done. How many times have I said it's going to almost be done? We're so close. What I'm trying to say is there's almost a light at the end of the tunnel. For the most part, the most part, we're finished. Every time I feel like we're like we're so close, but mm -hmm. we've been saying we're so close for a while. Hopefully at the end of this week, we are finished. This is done. Like, I mean it this time. The, the inside is done. Actually, it's not. It's actually that time. We are finished with the whole thing. We've mopped it we've finished the countertops we finished the bagging station we finished the oxygen tanks we've got the snake back in there we've got all the animals the monitors out loving his new space there's one person though that hasn't seen it we've been cleaning 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 getting everything prepared all for that man right there is it finally ready it's finished <laughs> Don't be surprised if there's a couple guys back there drinking beers, but. <laughs> <laughs> and they and they deserve it, so it's all, it's all the look. It's pretty awesome. Okay, right? so like, they've kept me out of here for the last three days. Now I've seen it, but I haven't seen it all finished with all the wood and everything else, so. Well, you know what it's like, like when we finish a pond, we don't do normally do the landscaping. You always call the landscaping the lights on the Christmas tree. Yeah. We've officially put the lights okay. on Turtletopia. With what, a couple hours to spare till Water Garden Weekend starts at five yeah, o'clock tonight? <laughs> so we've got Water Garden Weekend. <laughs> I would love to say we just busted our butts for you but it's also for all the people coming to see this tonight so we've sold those fish slots right and people are coming in at five o'clock by 30 six o'clock and i hope they're as impressed as you but if we can impress you then it should be okay. pretty easy to impress the homeowner i have been waiting for this for a long time see the new entrance i so, love the wood floor i love the wood floor you ready uh yeah. move those doors <laughs> This is spectacular. This beats my expectations. I love how this wood frames that window. I am gonna spend a lot of time just sitting in here like this. I mean, look at this. Look at these fish, they all come right up to you too. He's like a cat in a window. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this you is spectacular. <laughs> hey, Nick and Chris, great job. I bet you don't wanna move from up there. I can't move from up there. Wow, and so the, all of this live edge was done by Dennis. Oh, and all the fish are done too. Oh, you got all the back displays. This is spectacular. Oh, terrific. And we got all of the uh, YouTube channels. Yeah, those signs got put up. Oh gosh, and we got all this fabric uh, uh, in to kind of break the monotony. It doesn't feel like a warehouse, and that was the goal. Yeah, we've completely blocked off the fact that there's a hundred and what thousand square foot <laughs> warehouse behind yeah, all this. 165,000 square foot warehouse. Look at the, right here. We got our Asian water monitor hanging out with a turtle. I mean, that just, that warms my heart. Look at that, he's hanging out under the sunlight. And don't you, have a heating pad under here too, right? Yeah, Chris put a heating pad under there. We got uh, a light up here to give the turtles their uh, UV. So what's awesome is the turtles can just walk in, walk. I mean, this is like literally, this is a turtletopia. That's why we call it Greg's Turtletopia. Check out the sign that marketing got done. I love it. Reminiscent of me as a 12 year old kid holding my first turtle. And here I am as a 50 year old adult. This is the best birthday gift you can give for me. I turn 50 next week and Brian and Chris and Nick Ooh. and Ed. Hey, happy birthday. You want to make the boss? 
Boss Happy Build a Turtle Topia. This is so sweet. And everything's on timers and control switches and everything else, right? What? We got the Aquascape Smart app here. Oh my gosh, and look at the look at the koi. Look at with this finished edge. This is the first time I've seen it with the finished edge. Watch this, great. It's so tame. And I think you've seen this, right? But turtle lights, I can turn them uh, color mode. Oh man. Right? I can go back to white. Everything over here, like in the koi tank, I can turn the overhead lights off and on. Oh, we got overhead lights in there. The aquascape lights so off. Go off back let's, see the, let's see the difference when it, we put them on. Oh yeah, you right. can definitely see the fish better. We can go color. I love the ripples on the surface with the jets because koi carp are river fish and so they love the flow. They're just constantly flowing through here. This is just absolutely spectacular. Though. Huge point, you know, the fish love playing in those currents and with the power heads that we saw, we can put them in ponds mm -hmm. and we've obviously put four of them in here and you can see the fish playing in them and I always use the analogy fish treadmill, but we need to be able to turn them off and turn them on. So when people come to view the fish, yeah. I can just hit click, off they go. And you'll see that stop. I can turn the air bubbles off. So they were here. You want to see them go back on? So now you can see how clear you can see through the fish. Yep. But they need that necessary oxygen. So let's turn those back on and there wow. they come. It's so simple. And of course, in an outdoor pond, this is kind of a bubble screen to help protect from predators like herons. Predators and herons, yeah. But you don't want to have it all the time because it'll break up the surface tension and you won't be able to see your fish as much. So if you have it on the Smart App, which is what we created, you can just turn it on and off. And then when you're sitting by the pond, it's off. And when you're leaving, it's on. Okay, so <laughs> you don't want to go past this piece of plexiglass, but this is the little, it's filtered from this couple thousand gallons. But this is where Woody's home is right now, our main mascot. He's hiding over here. Get him. Oh, look at this. What a beautiful animal. And man, is he, and he's so strong. <laughs> I think a lot of people are gonna love getting to learn our ambassador animal, Woody, all about alligator snapping turtles. This guy was saved from the turtle soup business in 2003, and now he's living in Greg's Turtle Topia in 2020. He gets fed tilapia fillets every week. He's just a healthy big guy, and I think a lot of kids and adults are gonna really love to see this guy. I love my job, and I love Woody. It's good that I've got all three of you here because I will honestly say this is the best birthday gift in my 50 years on earth that I've ever had. And how amazing that it gets done one week before my 50th birthday. <laughs> this was one of the hardest projects I think we've ever undertaken because of the logistical demands that it required with being in and town, out of town, and all everything was one off and custom created. There was nothing easy about any of this. And we kind of designed it as we went and came up with new ideas. We had kind of a blueprint to go off of, but that was something we've never worked on before yep. and so we had no idea how to really build it but I think between uh, the three of us and help from the rest of the crew it turned out pretty good for our first exhibit. It did. <laughs> it turned out killer. Yeah this is the first time I've actually came in here and sat down <laughs> after all this got done and it is really unbelievable what we changed and what we accomplished back here. <laughs> Yeah. Zang! <laughs> this is just spectacular. I couldn't be more proud. And of course, the ultimate goal with something like this is to get more people into this fantastic hobby. And with this Japanese koi pond in here with all of these <laughs> Japanese fish that I got to pick out with my dad in Japan, we're going to be able to show people what they ultimately can have. I mean, some of these fish up here are 2,500 bucks. There's some beautiful fish in there. They're living jewels. When you look at the quality of these fish, 
against the quality of some of the fish in here. And there's not that these are these ugly are domestic fish, koi. but domestic these are domestic. Koi. You can just clearly see the difference. And the size. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. These are, you know, three to four inch domestic butterfly koi. And uh, over there we have up to 20 inch, you know, Japanese koi. But I love the backdrop. I think this is going to be fantastic. Moving everything from the outside in here, keep it climate controlled year round, just spectacular. It does not feel like a warehouse. And this entire thing evolved from just literally having a place that uh, I was keeping my zoo animals and now it's it's something that the ho all hobbyists can enjoy and I can't wait to continue to post about this thing. So, hey, if you like watching this stuff, check out Greg Witzak the Pond Guy on YouTube because I'm gonna be showing this. Check out Team Aquascape because we're gonna be showing this and we might even just put a live camera in here so we have a 24 seven news feed with all of the turtles in Greg's Turtletopia, the Japanese koi pond. I'd love to see two cameras in there going 24 seven. My man, Best gift I've ever gotten for my 50th birthday. Thanks everybody for watching. <laughs> Happy birthday.